Hello you guys and happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful restful weekend and all of that. Today the morning flew by. I was really hoping I would get to school a little earlier and uh, do some cool like morning vlogging but that did not happen. I know myself and I try to sleep in as long as possible even you know well intentioned Sarah at night's like oh yeah I can get up at that time. I'll have extra time in the morning. And then real Sarah when it, the alarm goes off it's like I can sleep 15 minutes longer or 20 minutes longer and then I do that so that's <laughs> that's you know the everyday struggle regardless one of my big goals that I'm excited for that I talk a little bit about at the end of the past week's vlog is that this week's goal is I'm going to be somewhat flipping my classroom now I've kind of had the desire to flip my classroom to some degree not completely for a while and I was always kind of thinking, well, how would it work best? Because with social studies, even though I know it's definitely possible, social studies to me feels a bit more complicated to do that. But I have decided, partially from my conversations with parent-teacher conferences, that I'm going to be flipping my classroom for my Spanish students somewhat. What I mean by that is we'll still typically go through things in sort of the normal fashion, more traditional fashion. But I am going to be putting together videos for the grammar concepts and vocab concepts that we do so students are able to access those and see what we're doing, re-watch them over and over again. And I think it's a perfect solution given the huge range of abilities that I have and so that's going to be a focus of mine. Now for lessons today it has not been the best day uh, in terms of management. It's kind of interesting juxtaposition because last week I was just so happy after the conferences and feeling really grateful and just overall very happy about how everything went. And then today, I mean, it is mostly from students whose parents did not attend conferences, but today behavior was one of the worst days I have seen. And what's funny too is that they, they talk about, you know, if a student is bored, overwhelmed, or um, doesn't feel like things apply to them, that it's like they might be more likely to uh, misbehave or act out, get distracted. But the funny thing is too is that it was mostly like a day that it was a more engaging lesson because it's the game-based simulation. It was our last day of it. And so doing that, it's a bit more fun than some of the other lessons that we'd be doing. It wasn't overwhelming because we've done it before many times. It was the same kind of activity where they know the format there's a scenario, they make a choice, they get points based on the choice, we talk about all of that. <laughs> and even still, it was just intense. Like I, I don't know, I feel like I'm just trying all my tricks, like I don't know this example firsthand, but like when you've got like a crying kid on an airplane, you're just like, what's gonna work? I'm just gonna try a bunch of things. So I was giving out my little positive gotcha tickets for PBIS to give to students who are doing the right thing and being great. I did the clapping rhythm challenge to get them to like clap and do the same thing. I still need to do that more often so it gets more habitual. So I need to do that. I adjusted some seating of students. I was doing my beat the teacher game, which I ended up winning all four classes, which pretty much never happens. Like it was just like across the board, just a bit wild. So one fortunate though, is that my an instructional coach reached out to me and said she wanted to come in for an observation. So I'm like, yes, I'm gonna have her come into my worst class and if she has any suggestions of things that I'm not doing yet, to try those because, I don't know, I just, I mean, I, I can manage and I don't know if other teachers feel this way. I can manage, but I know I'm definitely not like, overall just in as happy of a mood when it feels like we can't get through the different things. Like I've said before in these vlogs, I don't mind talking, like I don't mind having a more social class but when it gets to the point where we can't get through the material when we're already kind of rushed and there's a lot of pressure on what we're covering and the skills we're doing then that's where it gets to be a challenge so i don't know i'm trying to <laughs> i'm trying to figure that out but regardless this week overall should be a good week like i said i'm working on the flip thing so I am going to be staying after school tomorrow to work on that. I thought I had a, to help out with homework tutoring today, but then the person who I was covering for uh, actually needed next week, not this week. So I will be able to go home earlier. Tomorrow I'll be bringing my tripod and all of that to film my 
flipped classroom videos, at least the ones for so far. So that should be exciting. I feel like it's kind of a no-brainer and was really excited when I first was thinking about the idea of doing it, so I'm excited for that. In the meantime, it's just kind of focusing on getting stuff done. I keep updating my little before I go checklist, so I will show you guys an updated version in a little bit. So I did update my little schedule here and low quality lamination. Uh, I just put some pieces of tape over the top so I can use dry erase markers easily to kind of erase off, to kind of erase off what I've already done. But basically I've got a to-do list of 10 tasks and these are things that will repeat typically most days. So I have, I've updated this a little bit. Homework doc, copies, bell ringer, adjust board, go through email, grades, student of the day, conduct cards, prep homework and grade book, and parent phone calls. I've added as the year has gone on. Hopefully this will be kind of the extent of it and kind of gets things organized on a variety of levels. And I'm just gonna tape this to my desk um, so it is always there and then just adjust each day as I go along. My goal is to, going forward, try to, this week trying to leave no later than five, and then future weeks I'd like to leave no later than four. And so me using my lunch time, my planning time more effectively, hopefully means I don't have to do much of this at home. So that's the goal here. I'm gonna get back to work. Hello you guys, happy Tuesday. It is about four o'clock. 4.15 now, and I'm just getting ready to have my first day of flipped classroom filming. I am curious to see how the format will go. I'm gonna try to uh, get these two whiteboards in the shot as well. Now there are a lot of different styles for this. Today I'm gonna be filming some grammar videos and then putting together, I think, a quick pronunciation slideshow for the vocabulary words. So that is my aim for today to get at least the grammar videos filmed and be able to share those with my students to help them, especially if they're struggling. So I'm gonna be getting ready for that right now. I'm actually not waiting till the end of the week to get the goal done, so that's exciting. Hello, you guys. It is the end of the day, about a little after five. I did just finish filming two flipped classroom videos. They did take a little bit longer to film than I expected, but I was really walking through the steps of some bigger concepts, some verb conjugations, as well as the articles and nouns. So if you are curious, I know there's a couple of you who do teach Spanish. If you want, I'll put them down below if you're curious. But basically, yeah, I am very happy with the fact that I'm starting it. And for me, I'm not completely flipping my class. It's not something that I'm going to be doing all the time. But here and there, as we learn new concepts, I'll be spending some time going over them. So that is done. As far as the day, it went by really fast, as they tend to. And it was a much better day in terms of behavior. Overall, we were working on the Illustrator review I talked about and for Spanish, some recipe work because they will be giving a presentation coming up Thursday and Friday of either kind of acting out as a restaurant scene or a cooking show. So we've been reviewing those since it's a lot of food related words and I'm looking forward to it and going over some like helpful phrases, that kind of thing. So anyway, I actually, this was a fun fact, I actually got a ton of sleep last night. I went to bed at 11.30, which is, for me, like record early. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to continue, but I don't know, it was, it was good, it was nice. I didn't end up finishing everything I wanted to last night, unfortunately, or very little actually, so that was the downside. But because of that extra sleep, maybe that also helps, we'll see play a role in terms of how everything's going. But regardless, I'm gonna be heading out home just because it's a promise I've made myself to try to not stay past five, at least too long, and get home at a reasonable hour. So I will touch back in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday after school. I'm about to head out. I <laughs> feel like I've got a cold coming on. This morning I could just kind of feel it and then it's definitely gotten worse the other day and now I'm blowing my nose like every five minutes. But regardless, um, overall, you know, it's interesting. Today was a really great day with the students in every class and was very positive. No behavior issues at all during the day, which is great. Unfortunately, you know, despite how positive it is, just <laughs> where my head is at now and my emotional state is at, I gave it attention to a student who um, had earned the three conduct cards, and actually I think an extra one um, for some behavior infractions. And when I finally gave the detention to this student, 
they were very upset and very defensive you know saying that it's for no reason and yeah I just I haven't dealt really with an argumentative student like that before so I mean it's it's they were trying to negotiate it and it's it's not a negotiable thing there are consequences for the action so it's definitely like puts a damper on things even though like it would be a great day it's just you know that's kind of the taste you're left with <laughs> in your mouth after a situation like that so I don't know I'm not feeling great anyway and then it's like oh great this is dramatic I have the Twitter ed chat tonight so I'll be heading home to go do that and I'm gonna try to catch up on some other stuff but also just focus on recovering and health so that's the situation. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, you guys. I'm back again. I feel quite a bit better, both emotionally and somewhat physically after eating some food, taking a hot shower, all of that good stuff. But tonight is the Ed Chat in a little less than a half hour. So I'm very anxious, just curious to see how many people are gonna show up and just kind of what the whole process will be like from the host perspective. So I have scheduled all the tweets for it. Basically there's five questions and you, all, you schedule the questions as well as your answers. So then the, as the host, you're able to moderate and kind of uh, reply to other people's comments, make sure people are greeted and have a positive chat experience. So that's kind of where I am at right now. I have some other stuff that I should probably be doing during this time, but I feel like my mind is not really going there. I just am focusing on this Ed Chat. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's a half hour and then it's followed by another Ed Chat, the Fearless Ed Chat. So I haven't ever joined it in that one, but since I'm hosting tonight, I feel like it's the right thing to do. And um, especially since they're giving support to you know, our district and the chat, I should make an appearance there myself, as, assuming I can keep up with all of the great comments that are gonna be coming in. So it's gonna be a wild night, <laughs> education style. So that's kind of what I'll be up to next. Hello you guys and happy Thursday afternoon. The time is now 4.33. I have a slightly different angle just because of the sunshine. The sun is setting earlier and it puts quite a glare in here, but I am going to be heading out pretty soon. I know that the last time I was vlogging, well, yesterday hadn't been a great day for me in the classroom and I was feeling kind of sick and then I had my ed chat. I didn't end up filming after the ed chat, but I just wanted to catch up about that. But basically I was so happy with how it went. There were a huge number of people participating, many that I personally did not know from even around the world. There were several. Um, there was at least one teacher from Canada there. There was one teacher from Australia there. There may have been others and I just maybe had missed some of that, but it was a really positive experience. And yeah, it just, it flew by. I mean, I'm not sure if you have any experience uh, doing a Twitter chat where people are submitting answers to questions but I mean it was it was crazy <laughs> my notifications on there was over a hundred they there was just so much going on um, with the replies and people's answers and trying to respond to as many people's answers as possible like I was going through and responding to everyone and then I realized I was like four minutes behind and there were like over 50 new tweets that came in that I hadn't responded to I was like oh my gosh so um, it was definitely a fast-paced thing but it was really positive and I liked it more than I thought I would there was just a lot of positivity, some cool resources shared. So overall, I'd rate the experience very positively, even though I was very nervous before and just really was unsure of what it would be like, and it was tough to focus on other things. So that finished up. Afterwards, Jake and I went to grab some food. We went, I went to Whole Foods and got stuff off the salad bar because since I was feeling sick, like my go-to when I'm sick is just like eat as many fruits and vegetables and good stuff as possible. So I didn't end up filming this, but I had a big green drink when I got home. I, in the morning I had a smoothie and then I like my normal lunch kind of food. Um, and then got home, had the green drink and a bagel because the Whole Foods bagels are legit too. Like it was so good, oh my gosh. So bagel, I had one half of it. It was toasted with peanut butter and jelly, basic. Um, and then the other half with hummus and sliced tomato and both were phenomenal. I might do more of the hummus and sliced tomato when I go home today. But anyway, um, so I had that and then we 
and Jake got Chipotle because there's Chipotle right next door to the Whole Foods. So we did that and that was delicious. And then I was kind of really getting focused on the creating a Kahoot game for a review game for social studies as well as a Socrative quiz. I've been using Socrative this year for my quizzes and grading them and I find it to be the easiest and quickest. Now unfortunately short answer questions are not something that obviously can be easily graded so I kind of have that be its own separate portion. If I want them to do some sort of writing I can do that separately because I have to grade that myself. So I love doing it. The kids get instant feedback which is great and I share it with the special ed teacher and she modifies it for her students so that also really helps. So that's what I was working on last night and those take a little while just to make sure I'm coming up with the best questions. And then after that, I ended up going to bed again early-ish, around midnight. And so it's been very interesting because for sure this is the week where I've gotten the most sleep. I don't necessarily feel better. I mean, it's, it is ironic that I, I got sick this week, but I think that it is something I need to prioritize more. I think next week my goal will be health, just both in terms of fitness and healthy eating and the sleep thing. But my, I was last year doing a really good job and typically going to bed no later than 12.30. This year my average has been 2 a.m., but this, this week itself average has probably been about midnight or 12.30. So we'll see. I would love to get back into that. Now the, the trade-off with that is I've been scrambling a lot more in the mornings then because I'm going to bed earlier. I got here to school today, I had a lot to do. I prepped for the student of the day, wrote my thank you notes to those four kids, set up the board, set up the bell ringer, made the bell ringer for them, um, with it's always like social studies in Spanish. Um, although I kind of took the easy way out today because I was running out of time, I said, no bell ringer today instead, get with your groups, like whatever. Um, I ended up writing, uh, since in Spanish right now they're doing a sort of like short little uh, group presentation just to practice speaking in Spanish, like they're either in a restaurant scene or they are doing a cooking show. So we're doing a little bit with that. Yeah, so it's it's been like wild mornings. I don't know if that's like the ideal trade-off. Ideally, you know, I have everything good to go before I leave, and then I can both go to bed early and, so I can both go to bed early and not have a rushed morning, but we'll see. But right now, I think I'm gonna be heading out pretty soon. The day today went really well. I think that having a few days that have been very student-centered has been good for me, and a lot better for like social interaction, to bond with the kids more, and yeah, just a nice little break. So. I am going to be off and heading out. It is 4.39, so pretty decently happy with that time. And I just feel like heading out. I mean, fortunately tonight I don't really have much schoolwork to do so I can catch up. I've got, I've got my flipped classroom first two videos to edit and upload, so I'll be excited to announce that with the students tomorrow. And then some other like big picture planning work since we are moving on to another unit and I kind of want to be ready so it's not is just more planning in advance. So that's kind of what I'll be up to. I know this week has not been a super exciting vlog, but you know, that's life. <laughs> well, have a wonderful night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello you guys and happy Friday. I'm just doing some board erasing while I figured I would check in with you guys. It is currently about 3.50 and I'm gonna be heading out pretty soon. Now, I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna stay and get work done, but I don't know. I just kind of want to head out, but I just wanted to briefly check in. Today was a really positive day and kind of a fun day because we had an assembly and it was a really great speaker and it was a really great speaker kind of just the idea of being kind to one another and respecting others not really knowing their stories not judging etc and the speaker did a really nice job in a way that you know even like my eighth graders who sometimes aren't always being the nicest to each other uh, seemed to be more receptive to it so that was really good he even had you know p people raise their hand like raise your hand if you feel like you're a little off or if you are nerdy smart or if you think you're weird like and tons of kids hands were up so it was really cool in that way too just to kind of reinforce to the kids that they're not alone and that there are others just like them so it was it was cool and the class went pretty well. We had the kids working on a quiz and then um, some oral presentations in Spanish, like the little restaurant scene that I think I talked about. So yeah, all in all, very good. I do have, sadly, some grading 
Dun dun dun. But I'm not gonna do it today. <laughs> I will probably bring it home as I've been doing the past couple nights, focus on getting better, having a restful weekend. That's the plan. I kind of literally don't want to go anywhere um, and just relax. I know Jake's the same way because cross country's over now. We may film a video. I've been asking him when he will do his classroom tour video. I know maybe that's more of a girl thing, but yeah, Jake, since the cross country season's over, Jake should be making more of an appearance in the videos again. I know it's kind of been me like Mrs. Social Studies uh, recently, but he will definitely be able to be more involved now that the season's over since that was the first time he was doing that and did take up a lot of time. One little channel update, I think this will be the last vlog that's kind of like the full week vlog, at least for the time being. I know I've been like, man, why did I talk so much at the camera some weeks? So I think last week when I started, the footage was like 57 minutes and it took a long time to edit. So I think I'm gonna mix it up and instead have it be shorter vlogs so there might be two or three per week instead so i think that will make it a little bit less intense to be watching all of that and also i can in the titles or the thumbnail be more specific about what i'll be talking about because the range of topics can vary quite a bit so there's definitely there's definitely a lot to talk about and if I do it that way, it will be, I think, more organized. And then as a subscriber or a viewer, you can be more so able to decide what you want to watch and maybe what you don't if there are certain things that are not as el <laughs> It's a Friday. Or if there are some things that you're not maybe as applicable to you or your teaching. So that's kind of where we're at. The sun is out. I'm feeling super excited right now to either bake treats, like I feel like I want to make some donuts because that's my favorite thing right now to bake. Um, with my donut pan <laughs> or go for a walk or something like that but yeah I don't know do you guys just feel like maybe it's just because I'm an optimist I just feel like the Friday is like the greatest part of the weekend because there's so much opportunity of what you could do so that's where I am at right now but anyway I will check in with you guys later I hope you had a great week too have a wonderful weekend bye